I get through those turns. Sorry, I lied. I don't get through any of those turns. Good morning, guys. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on the camera, but it is super foggy, super hazy, and actually about 10 minutes ago, it was still dark. <laughs> we normally would be going uh, on to the track for practice in about five minutes at 8 a.m., but they've delayed it at least 15 minutes just due to, I don't even know which, which excuse you wanna go for, it being dark still, the, the mist, um, all, all of the above. Casey and I are out here grinding away. Um, no dad this weekend. Dad got sick this past week or so. I think it was like Monday. And um, he got COVID tested, it was negative, but he's, you know, still not up to back to 100%, so he thought it'd be best just to sit this one out and take no chances. We'll be riding solo today, so no, uh, no morning walk with dad, everybody's favorite segment. Um, no master's race and um, I don't know, Casey and I will do what we can to bring home the hardware. Um, I'm basically stalling at this point because Casey's taking down the sides and it's easy for me to just look like I'm doing stuff on camera instead of helping. So we'll just sit here for a little bit longer. No dad this weekend? Doesn't quite, it definitely doesn't feel the same without the old man. Uh, so that means no morning walk with dad and don't worry, I'm not gonna try to fill its place because no one could do that. So mom says I should do a, a walk with Mad since since dad does his walk with dad. So I'm gonna put it to the dad angle. So the boys did really well today. Energy was high. It's a beautiful day at the track. The only thing is You know, sometimes they just have the worst luck. So Ben now has his first lap curse where he gets out the very first lap and gosh, dang it. <laughs> I hope that he does these things on the vlog. He does these things all the time in person. So, but it was a great weekend, beautiful day at the track. Uh, Dad, we do miss having you. I'm gonna be mad now. Uh, miss having you at the track as the person who had to pick up your uh, jobs that you randomly do, helping them start the carts and holding all of their things while at the stand and taking their cart stands up, already on top of being the like camera lady for stall racing. Uh, I definitely appreciate having you here, Dad. It makes my role in stall racing a little bit easier. So Casey comes by earlier and he's like, hey, um, they, they were asking while I was up there getting gas, they were asking about if anybody would want to do some announcing for the races today, we can use some announcers. So he's like, you're in for sportsmen. And then later on, I was like, I can do masters too if you want. So today, your boy Ben Stahl will be racing in the CIK light class, the CIK class. He will be commentating the masters class and the CIK sportsman class. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a busy day for me. I'm excited. Qualifying update. I uh, am running two classes like normal. My first one, uh, I'm gonna start 18th in the CIK class. Um, ended up leading the group. I'm just not that great of a leader. So I had more speed 
Um, I just couldn't quite maximize it. So 18th there. And then uh, in my second class, I'm going to start third. And, uh, you know, I, I feel good today. I've just got to be smart. There's two races. Um, be there for the, be in a good position for the final and, and uh, hopefully get that first win of the season. So Casey and I in CIK, ninth and 18th for Casey. Um, that's very misleading because I think the whole field's within like four tenths. Like it's, it's that crazy. Um, uh, it's just a super, it's a smaller track, fairly simple stuff. So qualifying was hugely important. Um, I'm in my dad's cart this weekend um, and his seat is just a little bit different in the setup and the actual composition as well. So it makes it a little bit looser in the rear compared to my seat. And so it's taking me three or four laps to get it the grip there the tires to warm up and stuff um once it's warm it's great but so because of that i had casey go out um and he was leading and uh it, he got the short end of the stick i mean he was gonna be screwed right there and um i should have given him a bigger gap selfishly i should say that uh but i should have given him a bigger gap because we caught him you know halfway through the lap and we were just kind of coasting behind him after that so um now he's doing my best to lay off the throttle so i didn't bump into him and stuff because you can't bump it up but so 9th and 18th but like i said i mean we're, we're as fast as anybody that's that's just how it goes with this qualifying we've got a pre-final to make up for that um but then in light uh again kind of same thing i was slow for three laps and then the last lap i finally got some grip in my tires and i was quick um felt really good went out and put it in fifth which is great i was only 10 pounds over too so there's a there's a win there that I'm getting closer and closer to the light uh, lightweight, and who knows, maybe next year I'll be able to 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 get down and uh, run it full time. But uh, it's a cool little format today. We got started a little bit late with the fog, but six lap pre final to make up for it. And I'm actually going to be in the booth here shortly for the Masters race uh, as well as the Sportsman race. So I've got a, I've got a couple races that I'll be calling today, which I'm really looking forward to. You may notice that a uh, fan favorite Tad Stahl currently not in the lineup today. <laughs> Unfortunately, he'll be back out here next time first pre-final is done uh, I started 18th in that one ended up moving forward but not because of any real passes on the track uh, mostly of guys uh, getting into incidents and uh, being taken out um, I just was just missing just a little bit just a little like two tenths maybe um, to, to the group ahead of me and just I just didn't have enough to hang So I was really just kind of ended up running by myself for the most part um, and finished 14th because of all the people that got taken out. So I'll be starting uh, 14th in the final. So it's been very, very hustle, hustle, hustle for me today. Uh, running in two different classes and then calling two others in the booth. So I've been all over the place, but I want to catch you guys up on some of the action. So let's talk about the 206 light class. I went out and qualified fifth. final which is I mean six laps and it's a short track so it's boom 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 uh, race was over before I knew it and I you know I finished six I passed one guy and got passed by two guys
So, it, I mean, it was literally just follow the leader. I am really struggling with the setup on this car right now. It seems like after about three or four laps, I can get the, the back end to, to grip up and sit. Um, but this is the old man's car. I don't know if I've said that or not. So it, the seats a little bit, mounts a little bit different for his specs and mine. Because of that, it's a little bit loose. Uh, and it worked out well last weekend when I had, you know, 90 pounds or 390 pounds. But uh, at the 330 and the 365 range, it's not... I, I miss my cart and I due to some of the lingering effects of last weekend I just was like I didn't want to jack with it I'll just run dad's um, so it's a bit of a mystery um, but I still finished six I still feel fine I'm just a couple tenths off the leader so hopefully we can figure something out for the final um, either way I mean just go out there and have fun man it's, it's been a great day uh, I'd like to be faster but I can't really complain second of two pre-finals is done I started third in that race kind of similar to uh, my first pre-final where I just didn't quite have it uh, I made some changes and it got it closer um, I was probably only about a tenth off of the lead pack, but it just, I could never, I was never a contender to catch up with them. Like they'd just slowly pull away from me. Even when they would fight, like I'd just get close and I'd fall back again. Um, I think, I think I maybe had set my tire pressures too high. And so uh, I'll, I'll lower those a little bit. Um, widen the front just a touch uh, and that's it I, I, I think uh, you know so I start I finished fourth in that race um, starting fourth in the final hopefully I can get a, get a good finish here guys I mean a, a podium would be amazing um, a win would be I don't even know what's better than amazing but better than amazing so um, so far it's been a good day you know, even if I'm missing just a just a tick off, I'm still fast, you know, and that's that's really nice. Let's talk about the CIK pre-final. Fast forward to turn three, which I was having flashbacks from last week, you know, heart beating, a little PTSD. Uh, but no, so the guy in front of me got sideways. Uh, I think he might have got shoved a little bit. I don't really know. I can't recall. Uh, but he got sideways, so I have nowhere to go. I'm not trying to, like, wreck the dude. I'm not trying to kill him. Uh, so I'm just, like hitting the brake and we got, I mean, we just back of the pack. A straight line race after that. I tried it a few times to make it stick, but uh, I don't know. I didn't. I, they were kind of half-hearted attempts. I didn't really try. I I didn't try to take that position like I could have.
We've got the final coming up here. I'll be starting obviously in the back after that one. It's a super hard track to pass on. Everybody's like the exact same speed, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. It should be a fun 12 laps and uh, hopefully we can just move up. I'd like to get in the top 10. I don't know where I'm starting. I think I'm starting 21st. So that'll be a bit of a challenge, but I got 12 laps on a short track, so. I'll do what I can, but just want to move forward, keep Dad's cart intact, safe, ready to go for the last KRA race. All right. Yeah. What happened that first turn? Or that? got sideways, so I oh. was basically avoiding him. And we both got passed by everybody. He says Sportsman is about to start uh, the pre final. Casey's on the cart, ready to go. And Ben is that voice you hear. The phenomenal class. Uh, great talent all the, all the way around. You've got Handle up there. Sit on full day. Did you do better in that commentating? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. A lot better. Yeah. yeah. A lot so more a lively. Plugs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Casey Stahl, him and his really talented brother have the YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, folks, this is a rare sighting here at <laughs> Castle Motorsports. <laughs> You're hilarious. The fourth and very mysterious tall child has been <laughs> a very rare appearance. The best looking. Her bar. <laughs> She's made her biannual appearance <laughs> at the track this weekend. But really, though, the most attractive, second most attractive stall is here, too. <laughs> <laughs> this was found in Ben's cart. Um, hopefully, it's not important. We'll find out. Oh man, finally guys, finally a good result. It wasn't a win, but it kind of feels like a win. Uh, I started fourth and uh, the changes I made to the cart were great. It felt, it felt phenomenal. Um, and I uh, jumped out to second right away. Running in second for a while, move back to third. And that we just kept pushing away from, from the rest of the pack. We're just running in second on the last lap and uh, Right on first first bumper coming up down a straightaway onto a corner. And I, I should have gone to the inside. I had the opportunity and I didn't. And the guy in third did, he went to my inside. And so we went too wide through that corner, it was clean. Uh, I lost second then. Coming up to the hairpin, uh, I went low and I, I made the move on him. And down the straightaway, you know, we're drag racing. I, I take a defensive line on the inside and uh, he goes high. Honestly, guys, it was a great move. My camera won't show it, but he over under me in a very fast corner. He got second, I got third, but you know, that was a heck of a move. Hold on, he's got a four or five mile gap for three and three right now. You gotta hold it. <laughs> Come on, Case! Yes! Woo! <laughs> 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 
Come on. Oh, he's blocking. podium of the year like I said it, it almost feels like a victory so I'm a happy boy right now CIK light just finished the final 12 lap final and kind of similar to the first one man I just I didn't have it I got I, I had nothing for the leaders I was probably two or three tenths off of those guys Planted. I'm two planted in the front end and then I'm free in the beginning of the corner and entry in the back But then through the corner. I'm like hopping. I'm so bound up. It's a weird feeling issues I mean they're still plaguing me throughout both pre-finals and, and now the final it's it's weird so I think ultimately I finished seventh maybe sixth there might have been a DQ involved um, so again not bad like the only guys beating me are phenomenal drivers great job to all you guys out there um, congrats to Clay I, Clay and I don't really ever talk but you know we've raced together all year and uh, it seems like a pretty good guy good fun personality to have out the track so he won his first light race I think he's raced it so heck of a job to Clay he was the guy to beat he proved it you know all Hopefully get back in my car for the, the last KRA and uh, be back up to, to where I belong with those guys. But it's like I said, it's been fun um, all day today, calling races and racing with these guys and uh, doing what I can to keep up. So just got to dial it in a little bit, just dial, fine tune, get this thing figured out for the, uh, the CIK final film that we're we'll be starting pretty far back in the field, unfortunately. That's the end of my last race of the weekend. I started 14th. Coming up to the start, it got pretty hairy in front of me. Just not quite quick enough to keep up with the pack in front of me. On the last lap, uh, made a move to my inside and uh, uh, passed me and then the cart behind him. We went too wide through uh, the next three corners. That's the fun kind of racing. 
right? I mean, good, hard. He got the better of me. He ended up, he ended up uh, making it stick, and uh, um, coming up, on, you know, on the last series of corners, we got a gift. Two people kind of took themselves out. I ended up finishing ninth in that race, um, which I'm happy with. I'll take it, a podium and a ninth. Man, I don't know what it is. So, just finished the sportsman, sorry, I can't compete in that class anymore. Just finished the CIK final after a disappointing pre-final where I finished 21st. So I'm starting at the back, right? Um, going through turn one again. There's a, a melee in front of me, a bunch of chaos. So I'm just, I mean, I'm taking it real easy braking because I just want to get through that first couple turns and then you know I'll be chilling after that well I get through those turns sorry I lied I don't get through any of those turns And I talked to Evan about it because he's not right behind me. And I, I knew at the time there wasn't a whole lot of blame. I mean, it was just, it was honestly a terrible timing thing. I hit the brakes right as I got bumped from behind and it sent me around. Um, got off track and came back on and was chasing guys down. I mean, I was so far behind. I think I only passed maybe two guys the entire time. It was tough. I mean, it's a short track and everybody's running similar times and, you know, I'm not one for moral victories, so I, I don't really care about, like, the pace I had because it sucks. I mean, I finished so ridiculously far back because of something I can't control. And I had speed, cart felt as good as it has, still struggling in the early laps with the same things, but uh, towards the end of the race, I was quick. I. I think I could have run with some of the guy. I, I don't think I necessarily could have run with the leaders, but I, you know, I checked my times. I was, I was competitive, and I was freaking alone. But again, that's there's no sense in really celebrating that. It's a moral victory, and it means absolutely nothing. It's just a little. I guess it's just a little bit frustrating because I did finally have some speed, um, but just wasn't meant to be. What my day hadn't been my past couple weeks um it's been tough but that's part of it you go through a lot of things like this when you we see it all the time at, with the big dogs about some of the top guys out there just having terrible luck over and over again things that they can't control and that's just kind of how it's been it hasn't been lack of speed it's just been lack of results which is unfortunately the important thing like i'm not taking away anything from casey but i think he finished i don't know if it was seventh or ninth i, I heard two different things um but he finished in the top 10 and you know I, I was faster than he was and I was alone so it doesn't it's just a bummer you know that's what's a bummer about this whole thing dang it say hey Sam Hi. Sam Tutwiler pretty good runs today man yeah, nice job real solid he's a big fan we've got a sticker on our cards where is it But I don't know, I'll, I'll kind of wrap this up real quick. Thank you guys so much for watching us uh, struggle, our highs, our lows, everything in between. I think the good thing, the fallback I have is if I wanted to, I could go out there and be a commentator now. I mean, shoot, I think Mike was about to offer me a full-time gig, you know, six-figure salaries, healthcare, dental, the works. Our retirement package is a little iffy, so I'm not sure if I'll take the position, but um, I had a great time up there in the booth today. It was honestly a lot of fun. A little nervous at the beginning, but uh, found found I think a little something at the end, um, and it was, a, it was just a good time. Got to watch some great racing and talk about it. Easiest job there is. Um, but back to back to you guys. Thank you guys so much for for watching these videos, um, liking them, sharing them, subscribing to them. Uh, we really do appreciate it. From me and Casey here at Stall Racing, as he, he the chimney just puffs up a cigar. Um, thank you guys so much. No dad this weekend. Um, he's getting better at home though and he'll be back in the next one so 
Until next time, guys, thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.